Efficiency in counseling sessions is crucial. Overlooking any point can result in the omission of key counseling elements. Therefore, a counseling organizer exists to ensure all necessary points are covered. The organizer for counseling is structured into three main segments. The first part involves the introduction, followed by the second part, which entails gathering patients information. This involves obtaining a brief history, understanding the patient's perception of their condition, and inquire about the patient's concerns. The third and final part revolves around imparting information to the patient. This includes explanation of the relevant details and concluding remarks. The introduction offers a chance to establish rapport with the patient and create a favorable impression on the examiner. It is initiated by greeting the patient and then introduction, then reason of visit, consent, and in the end, confidentiality statement. We can greet patient by saying this, good morning, Miss Monica. I am Dr. S, one of the attending physicians today. What brings you in today? Consent is important to get permission from the patient to ask questions such as Before we talk about the options for oral contraceptive pills, I'd like to ask a few questions to assess your overall health. Confidentiality statement is given if it is applicable and we can say like this. The discussion we are having today will remain confidential unless mandated by law. What they know about oral contraceptive pills, we can explore this by asking, why is contraception necessary at this stage? Have you previously used contraception? What was your past experience with it? What do you know about OCP? Brief history include menstrual history, gynecological history, obstetrical history, other relevant health conditions, sexual history, social history which also include family history then we can ask question related to menstrual history like this when was your last menstrual period how often do you have periods are they regular or not how long does it last how many days how about the amount is it large or small how many pads per day any blood clots are your periods painful any spotting or bleeding between periods? When was your first period? Was it regular? The questions for gynecological history are, do you have history or were diagnosed with any gynecological disease? Do you have history of pelvic surgery or instrumentation? The questions for obstetric history are, is there any chance that you are pregnant? This needs to be confirmed as this is one of the contraindications for OCP. Have you ever been pregnant before any abortions or miscarriages? Number of babies you delivered, any twins, any children with congenital abnormalities. For each delivery, was it full term or preterm, vaginal or C-section, any complications like high blood pressure, high sugar levels during the pregnancy? Questions for sexual history are, are you sexually active? Have you ever had pap smear before? How many partners have you had for the last 12 months? Have you or your partner ever been screened or diagnosed with sexually transmitted infections, HIV, or experienced discharge or burning sensation? To rule out some of the common contraindications, we can ask about depression, seizure, migraine, cardiovascular problems, active liver disease, history of DVT, pulmonary embolism, history of cancers, medications, any allergies. Then social and family history. Family history, uh, we can ask any disease runs in the family, any history of repeated abortions or congenital anomalies in the family. Social history, we can ask how do you support yourself financially? Do you smoke? Do you drink alcohol? Have you ever tried any recreational drugs? To ask about patient concern is very important because this gives us clue that there is a need to discuss this topic in detail, such as patient says that she's concerned about the side effects. It means that we need to focus on side effects in counseling. 
The last part of counseling station is to give explanation to the patient about mechanism of action, benefits, side effects, contraindications, and any options or plans. Patient may say that she wants to explore more options and we can start explanation by saying like this. There are different ways to prevent pregnancy. Barrier methods include condom, diaphragm, sponges, and cervical caps. Surgical methods are tubal ligation and vasectomy. Hormonal methods include pills, patches, injections, and IUD. IUD also comes in copper form. There are also natural methods like rhythm method. Mechanism of action can be explained like this. Every month, a woman's body gets ready for possible pregnancy. This happens through ovulation when an egg is released from an ovary. If a sperm meets the egg, it can start a pregnancy. Oral contraceptive pill is a combination of two hormones, estrogen and progesterone, and it prevents pregnancy by stopping egg release making it hard for a sperm to move and reducing the chance of egg attachment in the womb. Benefits can be explained like this. Birth control pills work really well to prevent pregnancy with a 99.7% success rate. If used correctly, it also helps to regulate the menstrual cycle. The explanation for side effects is these pills do not provide protection against sexually transmitted infections and could potentially elevate the risk of conditions such as blood clot and high blood pressure. They may also result in side effects like breast tenderness, weight gain, headaches, nausea, vomiting, and sometimes breakthrough bleeding. If there are relevant contraindications, it is important to mention them. For instance, if someone experiences migraines, it is recommended to avoid the combination of pills. By the end of explanation, we need to give some options or make a plan. And patient may ask, how do I use them? So we can explain this by saying, start the first pill on the first day of your next period. Take the pill at the same time every day. It takes a while for the pill to start working, so use other protection like condom during the first month. You need to remember to take the pill every day. If you forget, follow the instructions on the pack or talk to your doctor right away, or you can follow this. During the first week, if you forget to take a pill, take it as soon as possible and continue with the rest of the pack. If you miss more than one pill, make sure to use backup contraception as well. If you miss a pill in the second or third week, take one right away. Keep taking the pack, skip placebo pills and start the next pack. If you miss more than three pills, also use a backup contraceptive method. The conclusion uh, remarks are, once you have chosen a contraception method, it's advised to undergo a physical examination and blood test. If you receive a prescription, it is important to have a follow-up after six weeks. I'm here to assist with any questions or information you need. If you have any further inquiries or need clarification, Feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.